morning. So I'm starting today packing an order. Um, I did a January sale, so I have a few orders, but this is what we're packing today. Um, it is a collar from my spring summer 23 collection, I think. And um, yeah, so this is ordered. So I'm gonna get it packed and sent out. So yeah, that's what we're gonna do this morning. So I need to do a website restock because I'm running low on collars, but I still really enjoy wearing collars. Yeah, I think a restock is needed. That's what this one looks like on. I have it on top of this jumper, but you could put it even on top of, um, I've worn it on top of like a coat or a hoodie when it's colder. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna get this ironed nicely, tagged and get it sent. And that's the plan for this morning. Hi guys, it is Monday today, I'm in the studio and I'm gonna have kind of a fun week this week. So I have a few kind of things coming up at the end of this month and then the start of Feb. Um, so I'm going to Copenhagen Fashion Week at the end of the month. I've never been to a fashion week before. Uh, I used to live in London and I used to always go down to like Somerset House when Fashion Week was happening um, to see all the outfits, but I've never, been part of it or anything so I'm going over with a group of designers that I did the Dublin Independent Fashion Weekend with and um, Copenhagen Fashion Week is a really kind of sustainable focused um, fashion week where there's all this kind of criteria that brands have to meet to show at the week and it's also kind of smaller than other weeks so I'm excited to kind of see what it's like and um, yeah but I plan on wearing a lot of my own designs when I'm there and I realised I need to make more bits because my previous collection, the autumn winter one, is in the shop at the moment so I don't have that. So yeah, I want to make pieces of that and then I'm also doing the Trinity fashion show um, at the start of February which I did last year. I'm not sure if I made a video about it, I think I might have. Um, yeah, so if I make stuff to wear to Fashion Week I'll then have it to give to the show um, for... February so yeah that's what I'm doing today I'm working on some new collars I have collars um I have all these collars cut out from the previous collection um and they're screen printed so I'm just working on getting them made into collars uh for today yeah so here's the one I'm working on at the moment um and I'm just adding the ruffle on and I'll show you when it is done so Okay, so just finished the collar. Let me try it on for you and show you. That's the inside, so it's lined really cute. Oh. I like with the volume and um, the structure. Ignore my hair getting in the way. <laughs> yeah, really nice. I think that's going to be really sweet, like over a jacket. Um, I have a jacket of mine that I'm hoping to finish and make this week. So if I do, it will be in this video. Um, yeah, that's the first one done. I'm going to get going and hopefully get another few made today as well. Okay, working on another collar with this lovely velvet ruffle. I've ran out of velvet there, so I had to add just like a little plain bit. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna add the lining on the back now. So it's a lot later and I just finished the second collar with this um, velvet ruffle on it. So I'm gonna try it on and I'll show you what it looks like. I won't have time to make another one today, so I will have just made two today just tried the color on really like how it looks and how it is sitting 
you can probably see it better here but yeah I like how the velvet kind of sits down on uh, the collar rather than holding its structure so yeah that's all I'm gonna have time for today but I will catch up with you again tomorrow okay so I am back and this is the jacket that I was talking about that I'm working on these are like baby blankets I love that this has this detail here and I'm making it into a jacket with sleeves yeah it's taken me so long to get all the fabrics and um, so soft so it's gonna be really warm that's the back of the coat and just gonna put you down in there this is the other fabric that I have to work with to make sleeves from this doesn't have a print but instead it's gonna like embossed nearly with a design so I'm gonna make sleeves out of this so let me show you so yeah the yellow goes well enough with it I have one sleeve cut out so I'll need this for one sleeve and for details okay so that is going to be the plan for today so I've been looking at all the different ways I can kind of place this this is the sleeve I've already cut out and um, where to place it on the new blanket to kind of get the nicest design and I really want this bow detail here so I'm kind of doing that along the side I also want to try and make the most use out of the fabrics that I have a little bit left over to work with maybe make a pocket and stuff so yeah I'm going to get this cut out now So I have both my sleeves cut out and now we're going to see if they fit into the sleeve on the vest part. So here is before and then I'll attach the sleeves and show you after. I have added the sleeves, Let's stand back a bit further, really like how it looks. Um, I need to I need to go and add some more proper binding so it's nicely finished inside um, but yeah really happy with how this looks so far the two different sleeve finishings are different um, and I'm not sure exactly how I'm going to finish it but yeah I'm going to continue on I'll catch up in a bit also for the uh, finishing the raw edges I'm just using the uh, sides of the blankets so I'm not getting new binding or anything like that and uh, this one's actually really good for fleece cool just taken all of this off the blanket and this is what I'm using to kind of line the inside of the jacket you can see there I've done the sleeve so I've got to do it all the way down here so hopefully I have enough of this to do it so just as I go I'm gonna unpick all the loose threads and get that along the side and then I'll catch back up
finished the lining. I'm actually really happy with how that turned out. You can see the whole sleeve is now nicely covered and then that's up along the um the side of the sleeve and then I wish I had it on this piece but I didn't. Anyways that's how that looks on both sides and I will try it on now. Okay that's how it's looking on. Really cute. Uh, need to fix the neckline and sort out the sides, maybe add pockets. Yeah, so I'll catch back up in a bit. That's how the back looks. Okay, so it's a lot later and it's nearly finished. I added on this extra piece at the front so that both the sides have this. And then I made this kind of like flat collar to go around. It's not perfect here. I had to add a little bit of hand stitching, but I think I'll just put like a little clip up the top or something. Um, I was planning on doing buttons. Don't know if I can make that work with the like overlap of the collar. Not too sure. It um, doesn't have to be perfect though. And I'm just going to make some pockets to go on either side. I don't want to cover this cute bow though. Um, yeah, I have some scraps here, so I'm gonna make a collar or a pocket out of this. Would love to include the curve as well, so we'll see how we get on. Okay, it's the next day, and I'm gonna try on the finished jacket. So here it is. I added this pocket, which I don't know if I really like. Let me know what you think if I should keep it or change it up. So let's try it on. Yeah, really happy with how it turned out. I um, added the collar and I also added a pocket. Yay! Let me know what you think. Last thing I'm going to do with the coat is I got all these buttons around in the trimming shop and I'm going to just add them here. I also got some ribbon because I think I showed you but the collar, the back of the collar doesn't have this finishing so I'm going to try and stitch it with ribbon and see how that goes. But yeah, I'm going to lay out the buttons and show you how that will look. So that's roughly what I'm thinking for the buttons. Um, I'm going to stitch this at home because I need to leave the studio soon, but yeah, I'll show you when it is finished too. Okay, I'm going to run through everything I'm bringing or packing for Copenhagen Fashion Week. Um, I'm just getting everything packed in the studio today, so I'll just run through. So firstly, the fleece jacket you've seen me make. Um, I need to add some button detail, but yeah, that's the first thing. I'm going to bring two star bags, these two here gonna bring a few different colors this one so I actually forgot to film any more of this evening I think I was just in a rush trying to get everything packed and get ready to um, bring home for Copenhagen Fashion Week but I do already have some videos up um, about how I styled these items for fashion week and then also some videos of um being there so you can kind of go and check out all of those videos now this is just a clip from the next video i did of kind of trying to figure out how to style them um, before i left for the fashion week but yeah thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed it'd be great if you could subscribe if you're not already i do a lot of content like this all about slow sustainable fashion running a small fashion business but also all about styling and thrifting I'm kind of just slow sustainable fashion i do my best to do like weekly vlogs i'm trying to do two a week like one studio one and one outfits of the week but sometimes i just get really busy running the business so i do my best anyway to upload at least once a week but liking this video or subscribing really makes a huge difference to my channel and um, it kind of gives me the confidence to keep going um and yeah i would really really appreciate it Anyway, thank you so much for watching and uh, make sure to go and watch all the videos from the clips I'm showing at the moment. So I've got 
a video all about um, planning the outfits that I wore to Copenhagen and then I have some vlogs about being at fashion week so you can kind of get an insight into what it's like to be at fashion week and also what I wore each day and um, yeah so thanks so much for watching and catch you in the next one okay bye